Hello, I'm Jeremy Matthews, the Editor-in-Chief of the Dietrich Gamecast, and these are my Top 10 Games of 2014. It's rare that a video game is able to turn its antagonists into charming and lovable characters, but Sir You Are Being Hunted does just that. Its gang of twee British robots form the foundation for an atmospheric and tense, yet strangely tranquil, open-world adventure. Don't tell Mitchell, but I actually enjoy soccer games, and for years, EA's FIFA series has hit the right balance between a realistic portrayal of the sport and fun, approachable gameplay. This year's entry is no exception, and although it isn't a paradigm shift in the series, FIFA 15 makes enough improvements to the formula to be truly compelling. Those of you who have been following the indie game scene over the past couple of years have no doubt heard about Johann Sebastian Joost a simple PlayStation Move party game which has captivated the enthusiast press. That's why it is so stunning to me that it was my least favorite part of this collection of simple, yet perfectly balanced multiplayer minigames. Sports Friends might be light on content, but it provided some of my top multiplayer moments of 2014. Despite the lukewarm reception to Bioware's past couple of efforts, I've always found something to love in their sprawling yet immersive worlds. Dragon Age Inquisitions takes this to a new level, opening up the world for enhanced exploration. Although it isn't a perfect game, Inquisition's sheer breadth of content makes it a very worthwhile time sink. Absurdist humor is back in a big way in video games this year, and no game took its absurdity to the same levels as Jazz Punk. The game is a non-stop barrage of brazen non-sequiturs, which, in the game's finest moments, extend even into changes in the gameplay style. You don't really do a whole lot in Jazz Punk, but it sure does a lot to you, and it's the funniest game I played this year. If I were giving an award for best concept for a video game this year, it would have to go to Octodad, Dadliest Catch. The tale of an octopus just trying to be a good human father is fantastic, and that struggle is infused into the intentionally obtuse, yet forgiving co-op style control scheme. I would have liked a bit more content out of Octodad, but that's mainly because I enjoyed the content there was so much. I like baseball. I like baseball video games, and for years, Sony have been producing the best baseball games on the market. Make no bones about it, MLB 14 The Show is simply a prettier, next-gen version of its predecessors. But after seeing the issues other sports series, like NHL, have had in the next-gen transition, well, a prettier version of my favorite sports game is more than enough for me. Far Cry 3 was awesome, but Far Cry 4 is better. The addition of vehicles like gyrocopters and elephants create a whole swath of new gameplay possibilities, and the game's unique Himalayan setting lends a compelling verticality to the game's open world. In a year where many big-budget shooters failed to establish themselves, Far Cry 4 stands alone as a fantastic, refined shooter experience. The licensed game market used to be filled with bad games, and South Park games were no exception. That's why it makes me so happy to say this. South Park The Stick of Truth is great. It has a fun RPG combat system, and great variety in level design, quests, and enemy encounters. But more importantly, it captures the essence of the show perfectly. It looks just like the show, and the humor follows suit with some hilarious moments. It's been a long wait, but the great South Park game we've been waiting for has finally arrived. This game has consumed my life. It may be free to play, it may be a collectible card game, but Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft captured my attention like nothing else in video games this year. I don't even have an attachment to the Warcraft series, but the gameplay balance here is perfect, and the understated yet compelling progression structures make it a simply irresistible gaming experience. That's why, in 2014, it's my game of the year.